I'm terrible at this. Good morning, happy travelers. We are enjoying a great breakfast here at the Barrel Guest House before we get out and explore the island of La Digue. We booked this place on Airbnb. I didn't actually know that it included breakfast, but it's a really awesome spread. And the owners are very, very nice. And I haven't had near enough coffee. The main mode of transportation on La Digue are bicycles. So we're grabbing a couple of bikes today and we're gonna explore the island. You can rent bikes right here at the hotel for about $10 a day. So we decided to get them for the whole time we're here. Bikes. I'm terrible at this. We're doing great. We biked to the end of one of the paths. It was only about a 30 minute bike ride, so it wasn't that far. And it's warm, but there's a nice breeze and you get that going when you're biking. It's perfect. I am really, really glad that we came out this way. There's so many more gorgeous beaches than you see on the map. La Digue is so pretty. I like it better than Pralin, I think. And there's a ton of cool beach bars and places to eat along the way so we might hit one of those on the way back and jump in to cool off. It looks so awesome here. We're stopping to take some photos along the way and we're able to cool off in this beautiful water. Although it's kind of rocky so we have to find some uh, sandy patches but it's so beautiful. It's hot. It's getting to be the middle of the day, definitely pretty sweaty. We stopped at this little place right on the beach to have some food. It's called the Takamaka Cafe. We ordered fish and chips and grilled fish. Fish is the cheapest thing to get at most of these little places. Half the price of like chicken, beef, or pork, and it's usually caught that morning. It was about 380 rupees, which is like 20 to 25 dollars. Definitely a little more affordable than other places. Ooh, it's got some heat to it. Yeah. Wow. Uh -oh. a quick swim because the water looks awesome. Hey. Mango, pineapple, coconut, a little bit of taka macaron. We had such a good time in the water and lounging on the beach that we decided to get some drinks and stay here a little longer. Just down the beach there's a juice bar where they're making up all these really delicious blended fruit drinks. Too good to pass up. Just for reference, we're on the west side of the island. This is on Severe Beach some great beach bars and spots where you can eat lunch right on the beach. Definitely very, very cool vibes and some uh, good swimming spots.
we ended up coming back to our room just to relax for a little bit and get out of the sun. I actually fell asleep on the beach, so we didn't think that would make a very interesting video. <laughs> but it's just about sunset, so we're gonna head down to another beach to check it out. Reach the beach, lock the bikes, let's go. This is probably the most photographed beach on Seychelles. It's called Anse Source d'Argent, but I'm sure you've seen it on Instagram before. We haven't seen it yet, but I'm hoping it lives up to its photos. We're gonna take some photos too. Although there are a lot of bikes here, so it might be kind of crowded. This beach is in a park of the Seychelles, so there is an admission fee. It is 115 rupees per person. However, if you come after 4.30 p.m., they allow you to roll over your ticket to the next day, too. So you get the sunset the night before and the full next day. Water is super warm in the Seychelles, but a lot of the beaches are kind of rocky, so maybe water shoes would be a good idea. It's a little tough to walk in them, not super sandy. Happy travelers, welcome to the next day. We relaxed in our room this morning and it's pretty cloudy and windy today, but that actually means that it's a relatively decent temperature for once. The heat has really, really been a struggle if I haven't mentioned that a hundred times before. We decided to bike back over to the north side of the island to this beach that we saw a few days ago. It's a slight little hike down to it, but it looks really pristine and it doesn't really look like there's anybody there. Pretty much the best thing to do on Ladigue well, I should say the only thing to do on La Digue is to ride bikes and spend time on the beach. There's really not much else to do on this tiny island. That's okay with me. Of course. <laughs> I found another dog. Hi. Hello. Oh, hey, yes. Dog. You're a happy dog. Oh, you just sniffed a camera. It was scratch that butt. Scratch that butt. It is getting a little windy, so we're going to move on, find something else to do. It's kind of stormy today. came to this little place called Shea Jewels, which is right on the water. And it's at the end of the bike path on this side of the island anyway. It's kind of in between lunch and dinner, so we're just getting a little uh, snack. We got some fish fritters, because we're by the ocean, we figured, why not? I got a mango daiquiri, and Kevin got a... Taka Love. Taka Love. <laughs> which I, has a bunch of different types of the Takamaka rum. Takamaka is the native 
Seychelles uh, rum. They make rum here in the Seychelles, which, you know, when in Rome? Drink Takamaka rum. Drink Takamaka rum. This drink is very blue. It was kind of stormy and windy. We decided to come back to our room just to chill, and now we're gonna go get some food and bring it back to our room to chill some more. So there's a variety of different takeaway restaurants in La Digue. We came to the Gala Takeaway ordered some food and should be ready in a few minutes. And of course, Kelly has already attracted some stray cats. Got the food, okay. let's go. We're gonna end this video here as we are so tired. The heat really takes it out of us. So thanks so much for watching guys and make sure you hit that subscribe button because we do have a few more days left in the Seychelles. We're gonna explore some more. And if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and give us a comment down below. This is Kelly from the Awkward Tourists. Peace out. We're specifically here today to rent one of the crystal kayaks. Just right on the beach to have some breakfast, not breakfast. Down to a beach that's really close to town. We got fish fritters though. You ready to go? Yeah.